Welcome to Nepal, which is located between India and the Republic of China. It is about 0.1% of the Earth, a popular country with Mount Everest as the highest peak, birthplace of Lord Buddha and homeland of brave soldiers, the Gurkhas. We, Monte Rosa Treks and Expedition, take pleasure to organize such monumental expeditions, cultural site visits, adventurous treks to the peaks above 8,000 meters. Besides, Tibet and Bhutan are some destinations that we organize smoothly. This time, we have a group of 30 tourists from Europe for Nepal visit for two weeks. Today, we visit the Swayambunath Temple. This is one of the world's glorious shrines. It is believed to be 2,000 years old. And this dome-shaped chaitya, which forms the main structure, is made up brick and earth. Painted on the four bases of the spire are the all-same eyes of Lord Buddha. Legend has it that Kathmandu Valley was believed to have created out of the primordial lake on this blossomed lotus flower which emitted a brilliant flame. The locals worshipped this miracle as the Swayambu or self-created and preserved this divine flame by stone blocks and built a chaitya on it. Located 3 km west from downtown, one can view a bird's eye view of the Kathmandu Valley where we can see three architectures, pagoda, stupa and shikhar at the same time. Baudanath Stupa is among one of the seven World Heritage Sites declared by UNESCO. Its build is identical to Swayambhunath Temple and is considered one of the most auspicious spots for Buddhist pilgrims. The Stupa is surrounded by numerous Buddhist monasteries and lies approximately 7 kilometers northeast of Kathmandu. Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, was founded as Kantipur by King Gunakam Dev in 723 AD. The central area of the city is the Hanuman Dhoka Darbar Square. It is a complex of beautiful temples and shrines, both Hindu and Buddhist. Most of them were built between 12th to 18th century. The Dabar Square, with its old temples and palaces, epitomizes the religious and cultural life of the people here. As various festivals are celebrated here, this time it is Indra Jatra Festival. The statue on the four pillars is the statue of Indra, the god of rain. In this occasion, there is a chariot festival of Kumari, the living goddess. She is a small virgin girl having 32 good signs and is considered the emancipation of Hindu goddess Taleju. Different mask dances are performed during this festival. Also, Akash Bhairavnath, the wrathful form of Shiva, is exposed to the public during this festival. There are many temples in and around Kathmandu, but the temple of Pashupatinath enjoys a special significance. It is one of the most venerated Hindu temple in the world, built in the 7th century, which extends along both banks of sacred Bhagmati River, where Hindu devotees 
come for holy bath, cremation and many other religious activities. Bhaktapur Bhaktapur literally means the city of devotees and is among one of the three major cities of Kathmandu Valley. It is renowned as the home of medieval art and architecture, fabulous culture, colourful festivals, traditional dances and typical Nevari lifestyles. The Darbar Square, the open public square of the ex-royal palace, is characterized with 55 wooden windows, temple, a golden gate, big bell and many more Hindu monuments. Works of wood, stones and metals are all over the historical city. Next to the Daba Square is the Taumadi Square, holding two giant temples in pagoda styles, the Nyatapola and Bhairavnath. The former, which is the tallest temple in the valley, was built by King Bhupatindra Malla. Walking downwards to the southwest, is a pottery square. Traditional skills can be seen here as there are many people who live by making these clay products on traditional wheels. Monumental visits are not enough to get a glimpse of Nepali lifestyle. Among the three main medieval cities Patan was founded in 3rd century and is also known as Lalitpur, which means the city of fine arts. The main attraction of the city is the Darbar Square, surrounded by Krishna Temple, ex-royal palace and many more temples. Inside the palace, there are beautiful courtyards where various religious functions take place. The next destination is drive to Chitwan National Park to experience the flora and fauna of this place. This park is situated in lowland subtropical jungle and surrounded by two main rivers, Rapti and Narayani. The total area is 932 square kilometers. There are many safari activities to explore this park. And safari on elephant back is one of the most exciting of all. It takes you from grassland to dense sal forest to get a close look on the wild animals there. Obviously, this swamp marshy grassland is suitable for many big mammals particularly one-horned rhino royal bengal tiger sloth bear deers and many more next safari is jungle walk 
any knowledgeable guide is always keen to show and explain on plants and animals. Walking on dry leaves and flanked by giant trees and curiosity to know more leads you near the rivers. Among these endangered species in this river are snouted gharial, popularly known as fish-eating gigantic crocodiles and marsh mugger crocodile in the water or sometimes squatting on the bank of river with their jaw wide open. After mating, the females lay egg in the sand. This river also offers a wintering ground for many migratory birds. Among 526 species of birds, not only the residents but also migratory birds are seen. However, this river offers a wintering ground for many migratory birds like Brahmini duck or Rudy shell duck, cormorants and many more. For this, boat ride is a very good idea. We can also see many migratory birds like small egret, black neck strokes, white neck stroke, the pied kingfisher, hornbills, peacocks, peahens, floricans, red headed dragoons, and many more. No doubt, this area could be a bird watcher's paradise. After this, it is now time to visit the elephant stable where our friendly guide is waiting for you to explain about this giant animal which is the Asian elephant. Its type, food habit and many more information and finally you can enjoy photo session with this beautiful elephant. Tall grasses known as elephant grass and marshy land is a favorable place for the one-horned rhino to graze, which is black in color, huge in size and weighs around 2,000 kilograms. According to the current consensus, there are 408 one-horned rhinos here. Small animals like jackals, four types of deers, rhesus monkey, black-faced grey langur, wild boars move around this jungle. Feeding on these small elephants are the royal Bengal tigers and leopards. There are around 100 tigers here. One interesting fact about this wonderful creature is that one tiger has more than 100 stripes and no tiger's stripes are identical. The Chitwan National Park is well known for three vegetations. First, the grassland. Secondly, the river rhine forest. And thirdly, the sal forest which occupies 70% of the total park area. Among 49 amphibians and reptiles found in this area, there are pythons, cobra and different kinds of non-poisonous snakes in this forest.
In days to come, if you would like to visit this paradise without any hazard, you can contact us for all the arrangements. We wish you a pleasurable and memorable stay in Nepal.